Hi, welcome to my t first tutorial on SketchUp. I'm going to give you some basics here. Uh, it'll help you get you started, okay? When you open SketchUp the first time, this is what you're going to see in the toolbar. There are so many more things you can do. Go to View, Toolbar, click on Large Toolset. And what you'll get is you'll get all these tools over here. A lot of them are duplicates, but it's a lot easier. Another thing is go back to View, Toolbar, go down to Standard and you'll get this. Now what you'll end up here is these two arrows here are super. They go forward or backwards. Now you can go back again and views. When you make something you click on one of these it's a little bit easier. Now another thing I want to show you is if I can get it in here. Let's see if I can shrink this down a little bit more. So I can pull it up higher. Down in this corner this little box, this is the, your dimensions, okay? Now, what you want to do to move around, I'm going to show you a few things here. This is your hand. You click on that, you get a little hand, and you can move it around. If you hold your center mouse button, you can spin it, okay? This tool pulls things up and down. Uh, this is your little box. So, you make, let's make a box here, okay? Now, if you look here at the bottom, I made the box. So, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to click that little back tool I showed you and it's going to be gone. So now I'm going to click the box so you can see what I'm doing. As you see if I'm as I'm moving now let me get higher here for you. As you see as I'm moving you can see the numbers and the dimensions move. Okay? So let's say we want to move, make something let's say 10 by 10. Okay? So we go 10 and then like the parenthesis, the comma up there and then the bottom comma and then let's say 10 again and you get 10 by 10 now you can take your tool here this one the push pull tool and you can pull it up and it, let's see if I can get this down here again Go backwards as you pull it up you'll see your di uh, this distance telling you how high up and how high down you're going okay so this is what I want to show you. Like I said, in the feet, if you add feet, you have to put that little uh, dash. It's the one below the exclamation points, like if you're quoting something. It's next to the Enter key. But in this case, we're just going to make inches. Now, the way inches go, inches you really don't have to put anything after by itself. So let's say I want to pull this up three inches. I hit three, Enter. And I got three inches. Okay. Now, if, if you click, double click. Whoops. What happened? Nope. Oh, there we go. If a lot of times, if you double click every time, it'll go to the same distance each time. Okay. Now, another thing I want to show you here is this tool here. Let's see if I can get this over. This tool right here. Okay. It's called an offset tool. You click on that and you'll see these little dots show up. Now you can bring this anywhere you want. Let's say 8 inches and I'm just going to hit enter. And now if I take my pull tool and I bring it up, there, I got a box. That's the easiest way to do a room. When you're making a room like uh, let's say 45 by 50, you make your wall 2 or 3 inches and you're in good shape. Okay. Another thing I'd like to show you real quick here, I'm just back out of these. Use your wheel mouse, you can pull it in. This here, this draw this little pencil, if you draw a line like this, or however you do it, okay? Now I'm going to click on this arrow. I'm going to click on the top. See the little line show up? Now this here is the follow me tool. Click on that and then you click right here and watch what you get. See how it tapered everything? Now you might take the eraser and get rid of all this other stuff here. And you got a nice little triangular type thing. I'm going to back out of here again. And I'm going to go the opposite way. Okay. Let's see what happens now. You're going to do the same thing. Click on the top. Follow me tool. Click. And now you got the opposite way. It just varies on how you put this in. Okay. Now I'm going to one more thing show you here quick. This is your paint bucket. Okay, when you click on it, you get something like this. You get all kind of colors and stuff. 
what you want to do is I want to show you how to pin. Now, if you click on this, it's just a blocks, and then click on your item. See, it comes out like this. There. Now, if you right click, a box will open up. You'll see this box here. All the way at the bottom, it says texture. Let's see. And I don't think I can pull. Whoa! I don't think I can pull this up high enough for you to see, but we'll try. Right click. No. Okay. Texture. If you lay your mouse on texture, drop down menu will open. Click position. And you'll see these pins. Okay. The red one always usually goes in one corner. And when you pull this green one, this blue one's going to stretch. So you just pull this over until it almost locks in place. You pull it down. And then you right click and click done on the left. Now what's going to happen is this is going to be a single panel. Now let's say we wanted a double panel wall. I'm just going to go back to the same thing. I'm just going to pull this down to where I want it, and I'm going to move my pin over another one. Bring it across, bring the blue pin up, and now I'm going to have two panels of the same thing. Now say if you put a star here, you're going to have a star here. So that's basically that. Okay, next thing I want to show you quick here is a circle. You put your circle here, and you use the push-pull tool again. Let me get this down here for you to see. And you bring it up to where you want. Now this is cool. If you take this little move copy tool, and if you find, you can't do it on the blue part. you got to find the dark part. And if you pull it in, you get a cone. Okay? Other, there's other ways to do things. Um, on this video, I'm not going to really get into them. Uh, circles and balls and domes and stuff like that. But this is just the basics. Now, what I use when you export, usually you got to click File and click Import or Export. Well, usually, what I always do is I just click on the Save because I save it, and I have what they have a plugin. And this is a mesh out, and what this does is saves everything. Okay, you don't have to use the other thing. The only thing you got to remember is if you're building something, what you always want to do is get rid of this little guy. Just right click on him and click explode Oops. or erase there we go erase and what you want to do is whatever you build okay we'll make it square here real quick uh, I'm going to use my move tool you gotta to highlight this to move it okay you just take your arrow key draw a square until the whole thing's blue make your move key and just pull it over now you want to bring this in like that it's got to be dead center or close to center anyway. So that way when it shows up in the previewer, it's going to be there. If you leave it over here somewhere, I am the previewer will put a node in there for a center, but you're going to be way off center, okay? But that's the first video I'm going to do, and uh, there'll be more coming. Thank you.